And what is up guys, The Stone here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Paris stickers. Are they still good investments? Are they over-invested? Why are their prices falling right now? And what is the best possible approach that you can have should you invest in them or should you not invest in them? So, with all this being said, let's get right into this video. Today's video is sponsored by SkinSwap. SkinSwap is the number one place for all of your CSGO skin related needs. They have an amazing trading feature with very competitive rates. Also, they have a very um, neat cash out feature where you can sell all of your skins and cash them out instantly. And as well as that, if you want to deposit some money onto the site, you get a 40% top-up bonus on all of your deposits. On top of all of this, if you sign up to SkinSwap with the link in the description below, you get a free case that can have an item that is worth up to $150. So let's get right into this video. So first off, we're going to be talking about the Paris sticker prices falling rapidly after the release of CS2. Now, this has happened for a few reasons. First off, I would say because Valve decided to remove the stickers from CSGO and everybody thought the sale was over and then re-add them back into CS2 has caused a bit of shaken up confidence in all of the investors and players that have held these stickers. And because of that, people have started dumping them slowly on the market. And an extra plus is people are currently seeing them still in the shop. This has been the longest sale ever in history. So basically, people are losing confidence that these Paris stickers are going to be good investments. And because of that, they're dumping them on the market, which in return causes them to crash down. So with the crash of the prices of these hollows, which in all honesty were already overinflated in, and were heavily overpriced considering that the sale was still currently going on. The ROI of opening a sticker capsule has also fallen. A few months ago or a month ago, the ROI was 100% or 90%. Now it has fallen to around 77 to 70% on the lowest sticker capsule. So this shows us that these stickers are currently getting a fairer market value on them. So this isn't necessarily a bad thing to happen to the stickers, but it more or less is a sh killer of short term gains for these stickers. What this means, at least how I perceive it, is that these stickers, even if now they get removed from the store, they will not jump up as quickly as they would have if they gotten removed like a week ago when they had still hype behind them and the CS2 hype was still behind them as well. So that is my thing. Now, yes, these stickers have been invested in very heavily and probably are the most invested stickers in CS history. But... This is where everything changes for these stickers and I'm going to talk about some positive facts about these stickers. So, as we all know, the one thing that drives prices up in CS is going to have to be the demand for a certain skin, sticker, case or whatever it is in CS. So, as we all know, these stickers look absolutely amazing and have absolutely amazing hollow effects on them which in return increases their demand, which in return always 100% of the time will end up increasing their prices. A lot more people are going to use them in sticker crafts and a lot more people are going to want to open those capsules to get these stickers to make more sticker crafts. So in my opinion, these stickers are going to be very profitable stickers over time of course i'm gonna be very specific on this i think that these stickers are gonna be good long-term investments and not that good in the short term in the short term i do expect a consolidation to maybe a small jump but in the long term one two three years in the future 
I do think that these stickers are almost a guaranteed profit as long as Valve doesn't kill off CS2 by not updating it for more than a year. So as we all know, every single major in CS history has always had profitable sticker investments in it. So if you bought any stickers during the sale, you would have made profit. If you bought Rio, you would have made profit. If you bought RMR, you would have made profit. If you bought Antwerp, you would have made profit. Stockholm, you would have made profit. So in the history of CSGO, there has not been a single time where sticker capsules have not ended up being profitable. And this is why I do think that currently in CS2 right now, the Paris sticker capsules are the safest investments you can make right now that almost guarantees you profit in the future. Of course, as a short term investment, I'm not sure about it. Might see a little drop even in the price if the stickers get discontinued. But again, I'll say this. I do think that over time, these stickers will be profitable. History has shown that demand is high for these stickers, as we all know. So they tick all the right boxes for being a profitable sticker collection. So to keep it simple for the investing, if you guys want to invest in the Paris sticker capsules, then I would suggest simply buying all three of the Paris sticker capsules. So legends, challengers and contenders sticker capsules an equal amount. This keeps your investing simple and it doesn't expose you to random other events like buying specific team stickers. That way you can keep it safe, simple and effective sticker capsules have always had a very high return on investment so you really cannot go wrong buying in to sticker capsules so with all this being said guys that's gonna be it for this video if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below if not and you enjoyed this video then feel free to hit that like button as it really does help out the channel a lot and also make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified when I upload more videos. So with all this being said, thank you so much for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.